Hi, everybody, and welcome to um, the Joint Venture Masterclass. It's uh, great to have you here. And um, before we get started, uh, just a, a little uh, update for those of you who don't know who I am. Uh, my name is Sahel Khan, and um, as Mark Goldman quoted me as a true rags to riches super success story, just like Andrew Carnegie, um, Jeff Mills, uh, a very well known marketer, gave me the name The Master Connector. And um, I'll touch upon more about why uh, as we go through uh, today's masterclass. Uh, I've achieved over $50 million using joint ventures uh, purely from just doing joint ventures as a joint venture broker and also using joint ventures in my, uh, my own businesses as well. I'm an international speaker uh, charging $15,000 a keynote. I've been doing international speaking for a very long time. Um, I've spoken all over the world on many, many stages on the topic of JVs, and also I'm the only Brit ever to be invited to speak about joint ventures in the US. Um, I'm also the creator of uh, brokeringbootcamp.com, my signature program where I teach people how to become certified joint venture brokers. And I'm also the author of Guerrilla Marketing and Joint Ventures uh, with my late uh, mentor, Jay Conrad Levinson. And uh, just an update, I sold my main JV consulting business for eight figures in 2017. So let's begin. So here's what I'll be covering today in this masterclass. We'll be looking at the real power of joint ventures. Um, I'm going to go over my $1.5 million in 30 days joint venture case study. And we're going to basically, I'm going to break that down and show you exactly how I did that, uh, that um, joint venture. Uh, we're going to talk about how to create six and seven figure joint ventures. I'm going to take you through some of um, my own uh, case studies and some of those of my uh, clients and students also. Uh, then we're going to go, uh, do some training. We're going to basically what we uh, my intention of this masterclass really is to give you uh, a lot of uh, the gaps that weren't covered on our five day joint venture challenge, which we uh, which was actually quite successful in the group. So this is just basically an update, uh, an advanced training for those of you who went through the challenge and also for those of you who didn't uh, get a chance to go through the challenge um, and just give you the, the training you need to be able to be successful at doing um, uh, at doing joint ventures. We're also going to look at how to basically go and contact joint venture partners, um, uh, how to manage those same joint venture partners, and we're going to look at some uh, of the best affiliate software to use. Now, just an update, I, um, uh, I've i been involved in online joint ventures for many, many years. I was a broker for a lot of the gurus in the IM space many years ago, but my core um, uh, specialization is offline joint ventures, so I'm going to talk about both. And I'm going to show you real world examples of how you can use joint ventures for both uh, online and offline. OK, also another thing is a bonus. If you guys stay right to the end of the masterclass, uh, you will each get a copy of my seven figure joint venture agreement templates, including a bonus NDA. Now, these in, on its own are worth um, between five hundred and thousand dollars. I only give this out to my students and my clients. But for those of you who stay to the end, um, the, uh, the go to webinar will log your email uh, emails at the end. Uh, for those of you who stay to the end and you'll all get a copy of the, uh, the bonus um, email to you. Right. Uh, so let's begin. First of all, this for me has always been what I believe the world's most powerful business strategy. I mean, first of all, first of all what is a joint venture? people ask me. Now, a joint venture is an arrangement of mutual benefit between two or more people or businesses who have complementary resources. Now, what does that mean? So let's say you have, and this is an offline uh, uh, real world example. Let's say you have an offline uh, bathroom uh, tile manufacturer and a, a bathroom suite manufacturer. Now, both of these businesses, they share complementary resources, being they, uh, they, they share the same customer base. They have the same customers, that would buy the bathroom tiles and buy the bathroom suites. However, it's very um, uh, it's very likely that these two companies will form a partnership because they see each other as competitors. Now, when there's more than two entities in a joint venture partnership, the third entity is known as a joint venture broker, which is what I do basically. And um, I would come in and I would uh, create a joint venture between these two companies, manage that joint venture, 
and also um, make sure that the that joint venture uh, gets fulfilled and all parties get paid. So that is basically the um, uh, the the main um, understanding of how a a simple joint venture works. A lot of people, when you mention the word joint venture, a lot of people might think it's just an online thing where you uh, mail to each other's lists, for example. But it goes way beyond that. The scope for joint ventures in the real world is actually pretty huge, and um, I'll be talking more about that um, as well. So, so let's we'll, we'll come on to that. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's let me ask a question to those of you guys uh, on the on the math class today. What do you think is a business's most valuable asset? Now, I want you to put in the chat box. In the comment box, what do you think is a business's most valuable asset? What do you think that is? So I'd like to see um, what your idea of uh, of that is. What would you say is a business's most valuable asset? If you just put that in the chat box, then let's have a look. Okay, so someone says uh, customers. Um, that's, that's good. Someone says a list. Yes. Someone says um, it has to be customers. Uh, reputation. Yes, that's a good one. Um, uh, database, yep, relationship. Okay, good. So a lot of you understand basically uh, the business's most valuable asset, which actually is, is actually the relationship uh, between a business owner and customers, because this is the most valuable asset that can be leveraged. So you always talk about people that say the money is in the list. The money is actually actually is in the relationship that you have with your customers or your list. That is where the where the real money is, and here's an here's an interesting thing: when a business is sold, that asset is actually valued on on a balance sheet as goodwill. So it's something it's something that's very very powerful as a as an asset. And here are some stats: it costs six times as much to sell to a new buyer, right? That's the basically that is the uh, 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 that's the equation for uh, for lead generation. If you're generating new leads, it costs six times to generate that new lead. Okay. But then if you sell to the same customer, it's pure profit. So once you've acquired that lead and when you sold to that customer again, now it's pure profit. However, it costs you nothing if you use another business's list. So if you're using other people's list and they're promoting for you on your behalf as joint venture partners, it costs you nothing, zero marketing um, uh, dollars up front. And the great thing is more of the profit is yours because there's no advertising cost. So this really is the most powerful thing about joint ventures. This is why I've been doing joint ventures for the last 15, 20 years. It, with a, any startup that I'm involved in or any business that I grow, it, it, the majority of it is done via joint venture partnerships. And this is how powerful joint ventures are. And there's also ho there's also a, a, a lot of benefits to using joint ventures. You know, you can, it allows you to compensate weak areas in your business without normal investment. Now, what does that mean? Basically, you can go to another company and you can basically um, uh, get control of their resource or their asset through a joint venture partnership. So let's say, for example, you're a company that's trying to grow and it's a catch-22 situation because you can't afford to invest in uh, in a new um, a call center, for example. You can always approach another company that has an underutilized call center and say, hey, let's do a deal. Let's do a joint venture partnership. We're not going to pay for use of that call center, but if you use that call center and help us make sales, we'll pay you a percentage of the sales. So this is how creative you can get doing joint ventures. Joint ventures also allow you to take unlimited advantage of unlimited complementary skills and resources, uh, which means once you've done one joint venture, you can go to uh, a different multiple companies and do those joint ventures again. It also allows you to boost your lead client generation and profits very quickly. And I'm going to show you how to use joint ventures to uh, to generate leads for free. It also allows you great branding potential. When you partner with well-known um, um, uh, people in the industry, for example, you can uh, you can increase your authority and your credibility uh, and your branding um, by being aligned and 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 forming a partnership with uh, with thought leaders. And it also allows you to make money out of thin air, which I'm going to talk more about and show you exactly how that's possible. Okay, so just a quick um, background to myself and just a quick story. Uh, this is myself in 2006. I built an eight-figure business using joint ventures. Um, as you can see here, you know, I've always, when I was a lot younger, I always wanted 
I had a poster of a Ferrari, a red Ferrari on my on my bedroom wall. And in 2006, I built a very successful business, which allowed me to not only have a Ferrari, but a stable of cars and live in a 15 bedroom mansion. So that was in 2006. Um, and that was the eight figure business that I built using joint ventures. But then in 2008, I lost everything during the, the, the last recession and basically was totally broke. So I went from being a multimillionaire to totally broke. And then in 2009, uh, I set myself a uh, a challenge to make a million dollars in 12 months, and I closed a $1.5 million deal in 30 days. Now, I just want to give you a, a brief background to my journey on joint ventures. Um, and basically, um, I originally um, trained as an accountant, left that job as, in, uh, as an accountant, and pursued a, uh, a career in IT, um, information technology. So I set up my first um, uh, company, which was a uh, consulting company, um, uh, an internet marketing consulting company, actually, uh, uh, ba back in 1996-1997. And um, I was doing a lot of consulting with companies, and this was the dot-com uh, um, boom. So you know we had a lot of clients who were paying us between 25000 and 50000 um, dollars for uh, contracts and it was very very lucrative then in 2000 the dot-com bubble burst and we lost the majority of our clients but I set up a one-page website to show clients that we can make money using e-commerce and um, that one-page website was a computer training website that I set up and in 2000 when uh, nobody was um, uh, recruiting or nobody was hiring um, internet consultants anymore we decided to focus our efforts on this one page uh, this this little uh, computer training website and early 2000 I came across a book uh, written by Jay Abraham and you might want to write this down it's called getting everything you can out of all you've got now that book was basically the inspiration for me uh, to get into joint ventures and in the book Jay talks about um, how powerful joint ventures are that you can get other people to literally promote your product or service for free. So I set, I, I set out to uh, create my first joint venture in, uh, um, in early 2000, and I contacted an IT recruitment company in, uh, in London, and um, all I said to them was, you know, if I can show you a way to um, uh, create an additional revenue stream without increasing, your pro uh, without increasing your overheads, would you be interested? And they said yes. So I had this meeting with this company, and uh, they asked me, what is it, and how do you do it? And I said, it's simple. It's called a joint venture. So I said to them, you know, how, how many people do you have on your database? They said, we have 100,000 IT professionals. And in early 2000, nobody was employing IT professionals because of the, um, not only the dot-com bubble burst, but Y2K. So I said, look, at the moment, you've got one revenue stream. I said, we have com these uh, computer training courses, which are, they were paid PDF courses back then. And um, let's do a, uh, a let's do a joint venture. If you promote those PDF courses to your list of 100,000 um, IT professionals, we'll give you a cut for everyone that you sell. So that was the first joint venture that I ever did with a very very large company, and um, the the joint venture was very successful. In the first year of my sm uh, our small computer training website, I think we did close to like fifty thousand dollars. But with this one joint venture um, in year two. Our turnover went from fifty thousand uh, just to, just to under four hundred thousand uh, dollars, basically with just one JV partner. So that's how powerful joint ventures are, and that really really got me hooked. And then I I pursued uh, a further joint ventures um, uh, in, in in the preceding years, um, and in uh, basically going back here in two thousand six. Uh, I approached a company that had over five hundred thousand. IT professionals, um, uh, basically um, on their database, not IT professionals, but people who bought who bought hardware, and we were a software-based company. So I approached that company uh, in uh, 2006, and um, uh, we uh, basically did a deal with the company. I went to go and pitch a JV, and the company were more interested in buying my business. But by then, I had two more business partners, so we decided to sell a majority stake. So in 2006. I sold a majority stake uh, of my business to a uh, 160 million dollar IT group, and uh, you know we all became basically became multi-millionaires in 2006, and um, and that was great. My plan was to step down um, uh, as managing director in 2008 and basically uh, cash out and walk away. But 
that didn't happen in 2006 uh, in 2008 we had the dreaded, dreaded recession and um, the uh, the parent company who owned my business majority stake went bust so when they went bust in 2008 I ended up losing everything so I went from being a multi-millionaire to totally broke in 2008 and it was a difficult time uh, because you know when you're so used to a certain lifestyle and and you know you you lose basically your your cash flow it's uh, you're in survival mode so um, you know I lost everything I lost the mansion I lived in I lost I, I had to um, liquidate the cars and I moved back to my mum's house um, and there I was um, in 2008 thinking what do I do now and I still remember that day because my, my, my mother said to me that, you know, um, you know, whatever you do, it doesn't matter because it, it, in your head and your mind, you still have that mindset. And if you if you were successful once, you could be successful again. And for me, basically, I was at the bottom. I was right on the ground. And the only way for me to go was basically up. So in 2008, um, I decided to set myself a challenge. Uh, end of 2008 and I said you know what 2009 I'm going to do uh, a couple of joint venture deals and I'm going to make a million um, a million dollars and uh, figure out where I go from there but fortunately um, I was very lucky in 2009 I spotted an opportunity and um, I completed a seven figure JV deal in 30 days now I'm going to take you through that exactly what I did to spot that opportunity and, and how it happened so once you have the joint venture uh, mindset, which I'm going to talk more about later, um, you see opportunities everywhere, and this is is very very it's a very strong um, uh, indication that shows you those opportunities. So, in 2009, uh, I was reading the uh, the uh, the Sunday papers, and I came across an ad in the Sunday papers for a book called How to uh, Use Your PC in Two Hours, and it was basically um, designed for the baby boomer market, silver surfers. But what was interesting was at the bottom of the ad, it said over 400,000 copies sold. Now, my background was in computer training uh, software, computer training websites. And um, I basically contacted this company and I said, look, you've got this book that sold 400,000 copies. Um, do you have a video version of this book? And they said, yes. No, they, they said, no. And I said, look, I have a video version of this book. Would you be interested in upselling it to the existing customers who bought the book? They said yes. So I got invited to uh, meet at their um, offices, and when I turned up, they asked me for the video, the computer training video course, which I didn't have because I just pitched it on the phone. So I sat there, and the uh, the uh, managing director of the company said, "Look, so hell, we're very interested in doing a deal with you. If you can get this um, uh, product to us to have a look at, we may be interested." in uh, uh, upselling it to our existing 400,000 customers so I was like wow this is great you know they want to do a deal and I haven't got the product so here's an example guys of you know when you're going to do a joint venture there is an opportunity for you to uh, to uh, to create a deal without even having the product now I always talk about distribution now I always say the money is in the distribution so people always say do we do we go for product or do we go for uh, for database or customer list or distribution first? My um, uh, my um, advice is to is to uh, look at the distribution channel first. Try and find someone that has either traffic uh, that they're delivering to a site or that has a, a large customer base, and then you can figure out the product, okay? Or, and then you can figure out how to um, craft the, 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 the perfect JV. So as a JV broker, that's what I always teach my JV brokers, is to go and find someone and control that distribution, and then you can bring products into that distribution channel. So this is what I did. I secured a distribution channel. Now I had to go and find the product. So I went out there looking for different products. I went to Staples, Office World, um, uh, Office Max, I couldn't find it basically yeah and what I decided to do was I decided to go on a website called um, elance.com which I think now is called upwork.com and I said to uh, I, I set a project said this is the book can someone create this book and uh, repurpose it as a video course and they did I paid $500 for that video course and I, I and I owned the rights to it took it back to the um, to the company the publishing company and they loved it and we ended up doing a deal with the publishing company. And uh, when I sat there, I said to him, look, you know your stats. How many people from the 400,000 list do you think we can sell this to? And 
I was told at least 50% will go for the upsell. So then I decided to do it uh, to talk about our terms, and I said, "What's your price point?" They wanted to sell it at nineteen ninety nine dollars. I said, "Look, let's do this. Um, give me seven dollars fifty for each one you sell. You can keep the majority, and uh, I'll give you a license uh, for for the uh, video course, and you can duplicate it, you can market it, package it, and you do everything. All I want is my cut, seven dollars fifty for each one you sell." So that was a very very successful. A deal that I did with the publishing company, and um, uh, you know the uh, the numbers were quite astounding. We we hit over two hundred one thousand units of that video course, and my cut was seven dollars fifty. So overall, I made just over one point five million dollars from that JV deal. And see, that is the kind of things you can do creative wise and creatively, uh, looking for opportunities and spotting opportunities. Um, especially when you're looking at working with um, JV partners and the potential in terms of what they can deliver. So let me just take you guys through that deal right now. We're going to break it down. So the million dollar joint venture in 30 days. So I found a list of 400,000 buyers and contacted the company with a JV proposal without the product. Okay. I ended up using enarts.com, which is now upwork.com, to create a complimentary product for just $500. Remember, complimentary, guys. When we're doing a JV and we're putting joint ventures together, our product has to be complementary to what that JV partner is already selling to their existing customers. That is the secret um, to make a successful JV. I then introduced and licensed the product to them, the list owner, and uh, make it, and my cut was $7.50 per unit sold without handling any fulfillment. We actually did a total of 201,462 units, and I collected just over $1.5 million as my JV commission. So licensing is one of the most lucrative joint ventures. If you can ever get into a licensing, um, uh, the combination of licensing and joint ventures is very, very powerful. So people say to me, you know, um, uh, what other joint ventures have I been involved in, and what other examples I can give? So as you, as I told you before, I used to be a broker for the gurus in this in the internet marketing space many years ago. So for example, I put these two guys together. One of them is Mike Phil Same. If you guys know, he's still around today, and they launched uh, Affiliate.com, and we did over four million dollars with that launch. That's a typical, uh, that's a typical launch uh, for internet marketing. And this was a joint venture that basically I put together as, as the joint venture broker. Uh, now, doing joint ventures is very lucrative. Um, I'm a joint venture broker. I'm also a JV consultant. And um, I was paid uh, $30,000 for one day JV consulting for a, a client in New York who put me up in the Mandarin Oriental overlooking um, uh, Central Park. Now, doing joint ventures is lucrative. You know, either, either if you do it for yourself, or if you do it for other companies, it's it's very very lucrative. Um, I also launched a new business in Dubai many years ago, uh, and and lived on the palm, again via a joint venture. Now I'll give you a, a brief uh, background to how this happened. I, I moved to Dubai. I didn't have no idea of the landscape of how people do business in the Middle East, and I basically set up a publishing company, um, uh, and I approached the uh, biggest event organizers. And I approached all the trainers and the coaches, and I got them to basically um, uh, a joint venture. I created a joint venture together where they would promote my uh, publishing magazine, which is what it was at that time, for free. And I would give them uh, space in the magazine, and I would also be present at conferences uh, on behalf of some of these um, uh, clients. So that was a business I built from scratch just by putting people together, in doing multiple joint ventures, and uh, eventually sold that company for six figures to one of my competitors out in Dubai. You know, joint ventures are, are really cool. I mean, it allows me also to spend a limited time with my family. That's my son, Harry, and uh, it allows me to travel and also uh, allows me to uh, do a lot of the work I do over the internet when it comes to brokering. And uh, a deal making, also uh, being a joint venture broker. And in 2017, I sold my main JV consulting business um, and uh, I wanted to spend more time with my son and my family. And um, that was a, a, a high point for me. 
So I don't do the consulting anymore. I still do some brokering and um, I, I still do a lot of training in the space. I train a lot of uh, joint venture brokers to go out and do what I used to do. Okay, so remember I spoke about the joint venture mindset. Okay, so here, here here's what I need you to understand. If you don't have the right success mindset, then you will definitely fail. Visualization is something that we use a lot of. And this is a really good means of manifesting the specific successful outcome because when you're going into a deal and when you're dealing with joint venture partners, you need to be able to visualize that success and the outcome from the deals that you do. Um, so, for example, if you want to attract the energy of opportunity and success, then you should use affirmation. So if, you're, uh, if you want to repeat after me, um, I'm the right person in the right place at the right time doing the right things with the right people. I'm aware of and open to unlimited joint venture opportunities. I'm involved in the best high level joint venture opportunities. So, you know, always see yourself as uh, someone adding value to others as well. So, this is really the most important thing when you're building that joint venture mindset. And this will really help you open up opportunities wherever you go uh, and you see, um, uh, you know, what, what joint ventures are all about. Okay, so let's do some training. I'm going to show you some uh, really cool strategies that I only really share in my high-level programs um, uh, in terms of uh, how to uh, go out and be successful um, doing joint ventures and make money from joint ventures. So um, finding potential joint venture partners. Now, one of the best places to list to, to look is uh, an existing mailing list, a customer list, or newsletter. Now, this is a good place to start because the thing is the customers have already done business with the list owner. And there's a trusted relationship that can be leveraged. Okay, so some of the sites that you can go and visit, for example, um, if you're looking to uh, uh, looking for a really good uh, customer lists that you can utilise uh, in the UK is a company called HighlightDMS.co.uk. Uh, if you're in US and Canada, it's a, a company called MediaFinder.com. And if you're looking for newsletter lists, it's a uh, uh, go to New-List.com. So this is these are the resources that we tend to use when we go out. And find um, uh, resources and, and new lists that we can leverage. Now, the great thing with uh, using mailing list brokers is that they are very open to doing joint venture partnerships. So, for example, if you go to a mailing list broker like Highlight and you do a search for a health um, uh, uh, health list, it'll give you an example here and it'll show you that they've got uh, uh, they've got 892,617 buyers on their list. These are buyers, right? And the base price is about $150 per thousand buyers. So if you wanted to buy the whole list, that will cost you a lot of money. But you know, obviously, there's a quicker way and an easy way to do that, and uh, to get a hold of um, the uh, the owner of the website and deal with them directly because the list owner's website is always listed on these profiles. So I'm going to show you a way to basically get that list for free to do joint ventures with. Okay, I'm going to show you that in a few in a few, in a few slides. Um, another uh, really good place to find potential venture partners are seminars and paid events. Now, you can meet and network with a lot of serious and motivated people at seminars and paid events. So here's my tip. The higher the price for the seminar, the more players you will meet. And you have to ask the right questions. So here's an, a question. This is the icebreaker question. So when you're in a seminar or in an event or a conference and you're standing with someone, let's say, for example, his name is Paul. You should say to Paul, Paul, how did you get started as a? And this is a great icebreaker question because it, what it does, it, it, make, it makes you gives you a connection to that person. And as human beings, we always like it when people take an interest in us. We always like it when people are interested in us, and we always like to talk about ourselves. And then you follow up that up with a question and say, Look, Paul, how can I help you sell more of your product or service? And then you just stay quiet. Now Paul will tell you what he's looking for. And if you're uh, if you're in the in the joint venture space and you're looking to create joint ventures, figure find out what Paul really wants. Find out what he wants first and help him get that first, and then you can uh, connect with that person. And then your next question to them will be, Hey, so do you think now we can get together and do something? Let's do a joint venture. So you know it takes a bit of time. You've got to nurture that relationship, and then when you ask that person, then it becomes easy for them to say yes. Social network sites are great to find potential joint venture partners. You can collaborate with other professionals and directly with key people of influence and their network connections. 
Uh, and obviously sites like LinkedIn.com and Twitter.com and Facebook.com do really, really well. So I'm going to just show you a, a technique and strategy that I use. Um, I use social media to connect with people who are key influencers and thought leaders in my industry. And what I do is, I what I do, in, actually what I used to do when I first started was I used to promote those people and always recommend them. I kept giving, I kept giving and giving until they reciprocated and said, okay, that's, so I really appreciate that. What can I do for you? So when someone says, what can I do for you? Then it's a no brainer. When they contact, when they contact me to start a dialogue, I then move them across to Skype to connect with them. And that's what I do. I, I get them onto Skype and I, for, for a quick call or just some advice. And you know, social media has done great for me. So 75% of my business has come from social media and it's provided me uh, with, uh, with multiple seven figure deals. I mean, this is how I connected with people like Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, Brian Tracy, uh, Joe Vitale, Ken Blanchard, Brendan Bouchard, who I actually spoke on stage with in, um, in Chicago many, many years ago, uh, Tom Hopkins, and Robert Cialdini. So most of these guys, um, uh, I connected with them on social media. And if, if any of you have a copy of my book, you can see they wrote um, a lot of the uh, testimonials for, for my book also. Okay, so now uh, we've, uh, I've showed you how to find potential joint venture partners. Now we're going to look at how to contact potential joint venture partners. So email online is probably the easiest way. Everyone you know, uses this strategy because email is practical, easy, and cheap. It's a great way to communicate with potential joint venture partners when you're already dealing with them. Right? So remember that. That's very, very important. What, you, what, what you've got to remember also is that most business owners usually receive a lot of emails and don't always read proposals unless you have a very strong headline that catches their attention. So basically, email shouldn't be your only mode of contact. Okay. This is the best, and this has always done the best for us, FedEx or special delivery. This is the best way to contact potential JV partners. It's professional and really gets used. Um, uh, and basically, uh, you know, it, it, it gets you past the first barrier um, of the uh, the gatekeeper because it always gets open. Um, so just make sure you mark on the um, on the parcel or whatever you send, urgent, please hand deliver. Now I'll give you an example of how I used to do this. When I used to run my corporate training business, I used to go into Barnes and Noble, pick the top five or top ten best business books. And I used to write an inscription in the book and say, hey, love what you guys are doing at, your, at this company. And I um, uh, just want to send out this book because I think, you know, uh, it will really, really help you guys. And I used to leave my name, my number in the, in the book. And then I used to send the book via FedEx to uh, some of the top CEOs in these companies. Now, out of 10 CEOs, um, uh, I would get probably about three or four um, come back to me personally. and want to find out more about who I am and what I do. And in terms, that would create more business for me and more partnerships. So that's a really, really cool strategy that you guys can uh, can adopt as well that, that I used to do a lot of. Now, also, um, remember there's a phone when you're contacting JV Partners, but only use a phone to follow up after you send a proposal or your email. Uh, you should also get your partners on the phone after they've accepted your proposal. Don't use the phone to uh, to necessarily pitch. Um, or, or get an appointment because what you've got to do is you've got to use a phone as a follow-up to make sure that they received your information, they've received details, and you can talk more about um, how you can help them or how you think you believe this partnership will be of benefit to them. Okay, so let's look at managing um, joint venture partners. So now we've gone out and we've, we've found uh, joint venture partners. We've also looked at how to contact joint venture partners. And now we're looking at how to manage joint venture partners. And now we've got the joint venture partners to say yes. Okay. Now we want to look at how we're going to manage these joint venture partners. So here's what's important when it comes to dealing with joint venture partners. You've got to point out, first of all, to them what the offer is. Okay. You've got to be really, really clear and concise what is it you're offering and what's in it for them. Okay. Also, why they should promote it. You know, what's so great about your product? What's so great about what you deliver? What's so great about your customers? What's so great about the testimonials you have? What's going to be in it for them? You know, 
I've always I've always say when you're going out and dealing with joint venture partners, yes, 50-50 is good, but if you really want to tip the scale and get your joint venture partner to say yes, you've got to offer them a slightly higher commission. I would say go for like a 60-40 split, okay, um, uh, on the joint venture partner's side to get them to say yes. Um, I, like I say, what's in it for them? Uh, also, what tools they need um, to promote your product? What do they need to know? Um, giving them a review copy or uh, a, a demo um, or an example of your product or service really, really helps. And this creates a sense of obligation because now you're sharing something with them. They will feel obliged to return the favor by promoting your product or service. So I'll give you an example about um, uh, showing them exactly um, what they need to do and what it involves. So here's an example of a launch. This is a very successful uh, multi-million dollar launch. I'm showing you behind the scenes. Um, they Here, they've mapped out the affiliate sales funnel. So they said, hey, become a joint venture partner or affiliate, and here is how it works. So here is what we're showing you, how our promotion uh, model works and this is what we want to take you through. Okay, so you're educating the, the, the JV partner Okay, so best affiliate software. So I'm going to give you some uh, really uh, cool tips on uh, What I believe are some of the best affiliate softwares that I've used personally um, Out there for you to use also um, First of all for WordPress sites, there's a, a plugin called WP affiliate I use this myself and it's so easy and the great thing with WP affiliate is it, the support is amazing They've got loads of videos to help you set it up, and it supports just about anything related to WordPress, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, iDev Affiliates I've used in the past when I used to run um, uh, my corporate business. It's, a, it's, it's more of a high-end uh, software suite uh, if you want to go more high-end with all the bells and whistles. Uh, right now, Kartra is probably one of the best software, uh, integrated uh, affiliate um, uh, software. Uh, with a shopping cart and a CRM system. They seem to be doing really well in the space right now. Um, if not, you can go for a basic one shopping cart.com does the job. I used that was one of my first ones that I used many, many years ago when I first started. Um, JVZoo is another platform that you can um, uh, uh, promote your product and service using their affiliate program. And the same with ClickBank as well. A lot of my friends do lots of launches. They uh, they put their product on ClickBank, and ClickBank basically has all the tools and has all the all the affiliate um, uh, technology already set up for you to be able to do that. So those are my um, recommendations, guys, for um, the best affiliate software. If you're looking at using affiliate software, from the cheapest to the most expensive, um, uh, um, right there. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, uh, how to train our joint venture partners. Now, this is very, very important because to make your uh, JV um, very, very, um, uh, to make your joint venture very, very successful, um, you need to basically um, manage your JV partners or affiliates. Now, as a JV broker, that's what we do. Um, when I was um, very involved in the IM space, it was my job to um, manage, educate, and train our affiliates and JV partners. To make sure that the launch or the JV that we're doing uh, would would make would do multi-million dollars. Okay, so it's very very important. So, for example, when you're training joint venture partners, uh, you first of all you need to use your affiliate platform. So you need to make sure your affiliate platform has all the uh, all the uh, the resources that um, your affiliates and your joint venture partners need need to be able to promote your product or service very successfully. So you've got to again mention to them what tools they need to be successful promoting your product or service. You need to give them step-by-step -step modules or training in terms of how to promote your product or service because this makes it super easy for them, okay? So you've got to make it super easy for them and again, make them feel obligated that you're providing them with all this information and training and they've got to use it and in turn, they will use it to help you promote your product or service. Also offer webinars to VIP partners. If someone's got a bigger list, for example, and they're more, uh, more of a VIP, Get, get, do a do a, a a private webinar for them, or offer to do webinars to groups and show them exactly what you want them to do to be able to uh, promote your product or service. Okay, so this is very very important. So I'll give you an example here. This is the same again. The, uh, this is the same uh, launch that I just uh, mentioned. In their affiliate center, they not only have the uh, affiliate link, which ClickBank is what they're using. They have a video 
that shows people how to actually um, sign up to Clickbank for example and then they have um, uh, some more links they have uh, you know they have art ready-made articles that people can use to promote their product or service so they've given them so many resources they're giving them email scripts affiliate they're giving them article scripts to use so everything's done it's a done for you resources in the affiliate uh, um, uh, center uh, affiliate program center for them to use the only reason for this is to make sure that when you do uh, working with JV partners they can replicate what you already do to sell your product or service very successfully uh, also they they show you how to promote with um, uh, with social media sites if they want to use social media and they don't want to do paid advertising so this is amazing the amount of resources they provide for their fitness and JV partners this is what allows them to do multi-million dollars on their uh, launches and on their on their joint ventures that they do with partners again they and also banners they provide them with banners everything they need to be able to make that um, transition and make it successful for affiliates and joint venture partners to make money so in turn you do the same as well so this is really really cool okay so uh, also looking at motivating joint venture partners there's several factors you know you, you've got to first of all sacrifice early profits for long-term gain by helping and motivating joint venture partners um, also offer the highest performance better commissions if you've got people who are more proactive give them an extra commission give them a bonus give them some milestones for, the, for them to earn extra as an affiliate or JV partner so there you go milestones okay uh, so make sure also you have a strong back end in place if you're going to be having people promote your product make sure that you have something on the back end that filters people and, and new customers in and allows you to make more sales uh, moving forward um, offering prizes for your joint venture partners and affiliates to help them keep mailing or keep promoting also helps and sharing communication uh, about the buzz in a JV group or in a uh, on a on a joint venture blog really really helps and also offering to promote I mean if you've got people who are doing really really well you can uh, you can reciproc reciprocate and offer to promote for them as well because they're doing that for you so you can use a done for you formula as well for affiliates and JV partners basically what this is it makes it easier for JV partners to promote um, you can provide them with their own domain name uh, already set up you can also set up uh, them on your affiliate program automatically and just give them a link and say here here's your link instead of sending them to a page to sign up set it up for them send them a link and um, what you do is you get the domain name and you put the link behind the domain name so you you give them a domain name if you wanted to go down that route or you give them an affiliate link that's the one of the uh, be best ways to do it and this is what we used to do with uh, with our JV partners and affiliates so again, when I mentioned using JV blogs or JV groups, great place to uh, communicate. You can have a closed group or open group. Closed basically is where you just handpick a couple of JV partners you want to work with, and affiliates. Open is is basically it's open to anyone, and anyone can join that affiliate program or your JV partner program from a sign-up page. Uh, you want to create a lot of uh, pre-launch buzz before you actually um, get them to promote for you. And uh, you can use a blog or a, a group to promote with JV partners and affiliates. And you, a lot of people are doing this right now. A lot of people are using uh, Facebook groups to uh, create buzz and um, uh, look, uh, for, for launches, basically. That's what they're doing right now and looking for JV partners and putting JV partners into a group and providing buzz and information and uh, offering them prizes also to, uh, to promote for them on their behalf. Uh, also encourage secondary partners. Secondary partners are people like us, JV brokers. So uh, you can have JV partners, and then you can have JV brokers that basically go out and find JV partners, partners for you for an extra cut of the sales. So that's what JV brokers tend to do uh, when it comes to helping uh, you get JV partners. Also, I advise you to do is uh, go out and study your, comp your your competition. If your competitors have JV partners or an affiliate program, join the affiliate program. And find out what they're doing, and have a look at how, see how they're structuring their um, uh, their joint venture partner programs. You can use JV Notify Pro or even JV Zoo to find these affiliate programs. And this will give give you access to their JV tools and resources, so you can really dig deep and see how are these guys doing multi-million uh, dollar 
um, partnerships um, and what are they using specifically. Uh, study the email communications. I mean, email is an integral part for you to keep in touch with your uh, joint venture partners and affiliates. Also, like I said, search for competitors' JV programs. Um, JV Notify Pro is a really good place just to have a look and see what people are doing and how they're putting together and constructing these big launches and joint ventures. It's really, really important, guys, that you study this because if you want to be uh, create a successful joint venture program uh, and an affiliate program, then you this is what you study. This is what I tell all my guys to you know go out there and study. So this is very, very important. And like I say, keep learning. And implementing, you know, you know, take these uh, stages and these approaches to creating your perfect joint venture and working with the perfect joint venture partners. Okay, so it's very, very important. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the training. Uh, first of all, some testimonials for you um, from some of my own students um, are, when it comes to doing uh, joint ventures and joint venture training. Um, one of my most successful clients, Markel. Um, says the Hell's Million Dollar JV Training is where the journey with, journey with joint venture started. Since then, I've closed a three million dollar joint venture deal thanks to Sahel. And uh, Angie Granger is one of my other um, clients. Uh, she mentions I've always been a pretty good business expert, but Sahel's Million Dollar JV Training blew me away. Since working with Sahel, I went from 20k a month to 100k a month using joint ventures. So this is powerful stuff, guys. What I'm teaching you today. You know the, the stages and the process you go through to Create the uh, the perfect joint venture is what you guys really need to follow, and this is a, just a snippet of my training and what I normally deliver. Uh, so you know I've given you access to some of that training today, which people pay uh, normally pay um, thousands of dollars for. Now, let me ask you a question: Would you like access to all my joint venture programs worth twenty three thousand five hundred dollars for free? Now, give me a a yes in the chat box. If you'd like access to all my joint venture programs worth $23,500 uh, for free. This is all my programs, guys, right? All my programs, all my JV programs. Okay, cool. We've got lots of yeses there. Okay, brilliant. So, first of all, here's what's included. This is my this is all my list of joint venture training programs you can get for free. Okay, my joint venture specialist program worth five thousand dollars, my joint venture consulting program worth three thousand dollars, my joint venture for business program worth three thousand dollars, my joint venture introducer program, which is now called my LinkedIn introducer program for two thousand dollars, my joint venture university for five thousand, which worth five thousand dollars, my LinkedIn introducer, which is my updated program for twenty five hundred dollars. My B2B appointment formula for LinkedIn, which is $1,000. And my online course expert program, which is one of my recent programs I just completed. You get access to all that. You get access to all these training programs. Now, it's a special webinar offer only for today. Um, now, here's how you can get access to all eight joint venture training programs worth 23500 for free. Simple. You join my online JV mastermind. Okay, now let me tell you a bit more about my online mastermind. My joint venture mastermind includes two mastermind calls a month, joint venture contracts worth $10,000, my joint venture business audit, my live joint venture deals, access to joint venture brokers, access to all my joint venture databases, and ongoing joint venture training within my online joint venture mastermind. Now, here's the, here's the deal, guys. There's so many of you guys on the webinar today. Now, it's strictly limited to 20 paces only. Now, if you join my online joint venture mastermind, you can join it for half price today and uh, to get all my joint venture training programs for free. Now, what's the cost? So, six months access to my online joint venture mastermind is normally $597. For today only, you get that for $297, which is peanuts compared to what you're getting value wise $23,500 worth of my training programs or 12 months access which is normally $997 for today only you pay $497 for that okay now here's the thing guys here's the next step if you're serious ask yourself this what is it costing you today where you are is it costing you more than $297 is it costing you more than $497 to stay where you are 
So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the link below, jointventuremastermind.com forward slash half price, and you can get basically my joint venture mastermind for half price access, including all my programs, all my joint venture programs, which are worth over twenty around twenty three thousand five hundred dollars for uh, for either two nine seven or four nine seven. So, so you know, to secure your spot immediately. Go to jointventuremastermind.com forward slash half price. Now let's have uh, let's open up for a Q&A. Let's have a uh, uh, let's look at some questions. And if you've got any questions for me, guys, about today's training, about today's masterclass, or even about the Joint Venture Mastermind half price offer, please put it in the uh, comment section in the chat box now. If you've got any questions for me about joint ventures, any questions about the masterclass. Um, any questions about the uh, half price joint venture mastermind offer? Uh, please put it in the in the chat box now. So any questions, guys? Uh, let's open up for a Q and A, and um, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So any questions, guys? Let me know if you've got any questions for me. Right, just give me a yes in the in the chat box and just let me know can you hear my voice okay let's just have a quick look okay guys okay let's have a look uh, okay someone asked about offline um, joint ventures and okay we've covered that uh, online and offline uh, someone said Kajabi also has an affiliate feature Kajabi does is Kajabi is quite expensive if you're looking for um, a platform for um, uh, for uploading training courses and yeah, Kajabi is pretty good. Uh, someone says here, um, when brokering a JV deal, why would a client be willing to give up 60% of the revenue? Um, no, it's actually the other way. When you're brokering a deal, um, uh, it's not the client that's giving up. Oh, oh, okay, so they're talking about the client. It really depends because uh, if you're brokering a deal, then it's a different equation altogether. When you're brokering a deal, it's more basically 40, 40, 20. But if you're uh, if you're dealing with a JV partner directly and it's just you and the JV partner, then you can do uh, you can do 60, 40 split, 60 percent to the JV partner to get them on board. But when you're brokering a deal, then no, brokering is different. If I'm brokering a deal between two companies, it's a 40, 40 split, and it's uh, it's 20 percent to me or you can uh, you can configure that and uh, however you want, but that's the normal split when you're brokering a deal. It's a, it's a much different thing. Um, someone says, uh, how do you make sure offline deal to get your uh, make sure on offline deal to get your cut? Okay, there's several ways. You first of all, you've got to use a very strong agreement. Okay, and I like I said, if you stay till the end, you're going to get a copy of my uh, joint venture agreement template, and there's an NDA in there as well. That agreement is basically you have to do joint ventures uh, via agreements. There's no other way to do it. I used to do a lot of deals with handshakes, and let me tell you, um, and I probably a lot of you probably know this. I, why I left the IM industry is because I was owed just over half a million dollars from two gurus on a on a handshake deal, and um, I, I I I promised after I'd never do that again. So your agreement. Is what will really, really protect you from your deal. So make sure you have agreements in place. And like I said, you guys are going to get a copy of those agreements. Um, someone says here, um, I'm interested in the uh, online joint venture mastermind. Uh, can I pay tomorrow? Look, here's the deal, guys. If you go to that website, jointventuremastermind.com forward slash half price. Now I've got 20 slots, um, and I think we're already down. Looking at this, I think we're down to 17 or 16. If the deal, if the if the slots are still there tomorrow, yes, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, just message me and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, someone says, can I broker deals without having attorneys do the contracts? Um, okay, that's an interest. That's an interesting question. <coughs> I'll provide you with the agreement, but I'm not an attorney, so you can use it at your risk. But I would say always get it looked at from an attorney, um, just to make sure because uh, different states. Have different laws, 
So I will give you, I will provide you with the agreement at the end because you stay till the end. Um, you get a copy of the agree the agreement you can use or the contract, but then you have to get an attorney to look at it. So I'm not an attorney, so I can't give you legal advice. But uh, and that's a disclaimer. Um, but yes, you can. Uh, basically, I would get I would say get an attorney to have a look at it. They don't have to do your contract because I'll give you an agreement to use. But just get them to look over it to make sure that it works in your state. Okay. Good question. Someone's asked me who are the two gurus. <laughs> I, I can't mention that. I mean, they're they're still around today, um, uh, unfortunately. But it's just one of those things. You go through that, you know, um, when you're dealing with people in that industry, it's just something that you have to go through. And that was many, many years ago. So, so I'm well over that. So, and to be honest with you, I've made like a hundred times more than what was owed to me. So, uh, um, I, it's fine. I used it. I used it as an as leverage. To be honest with you, I mean, I made much more than I lost. So, but it's just a, it's just not a great thing to go through. Um, but now I've uh, obviously I'm a bit I'm a, I'm a lot wiser than I was about 10 15 years ago. All right, guys. So any more questions? Any questions about the um, the joint venture mastermind uh, half price offer? Like I said, guys, if you want to get on jump on that to offer, it's jointventuremastermind.com uh, forward slash uh, half price. So make sure you jump on that, guys, because when it's gone, it's gone, and, and it's not, it's not going to be at that price again any soon. Um, all right, guys. Any more questions for me? Any questions about the masterclass? Now, did I cover everything for you guys? Was there anything you wanted me to um, uh, talk about that I didn't cover? Is there anything that you wanted to ask? Uh, recordings, yes. The recordings will be up for all of you guys registered on the webinar. You get a, a um, you get a replay link. I'll also post a video in our joint venture group. So uh, I'll get the replay, and that'll be in the in the actual. I'll post it in the group in the next day or two, so you can watch the replay there as well. Someone says on an offline deal, how can you control or look over the sales? Again, it's got to be in your agreement. In your agreement, you've got to have a clause that allows you to um, uh, to to look to basically get access to their sales records. Now, most in most JV uh, instances, you use an escrow account. But when you have an escrow account, it's easier because then you can control what's coming in sales wise. But if you're doing a, a smaller deal, then you've got to put it in your agreement. You've got to put it in there that you have, you are, will be allowed access to sales records and any shipping records as well. So yeah, it all comes down to the agreement, guys. It all comes down to your agreement. And here's what I'd say about doing joint ventures, okay? Don't focus too much on the negative. Don't focus on, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Just do the bloody deal. That's the problem with some of you guys. You, know, you won't go ahead. You won't go forward. You will never do a deal. You will never do a joint venture because you keep worrying that it might not work for you or you may get you know, um, uh, taken advantage of or you may get cut out of a deal. Don't focus on that. Joint ventures are a numbers game. So you know, you've, got to, you've got to get a couple of numbers under your belt until you're a lot wiser and um, you know you 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 know what exactly what's going on right so that's my advice but at the end of the day the other option is if you want to do joint ventures as a JV broker or as a, um, a specialist or learn more about JVs then you need to go to that link jointventuremastermind.com forward slash half price and basically get that deal because you're going to get access to all my training guys all my training and that will teach you everything you need to know and you'll also get access to my mastermind group which will give you the support and the mentoring um, as well and there's peanuts for that access you know the access that you're getting um, people are paying ten fifteen thousand dollars for my coaching program so um, this is I'm making it as accessible as possible to all of you, especially during the current crisis we're going through. So I would definitely go again, go to jointventuremastermind.com forward slash half price and jump on that deal before we sell out. Um, but like I say, uh, if you've got any more questions for me, um, let me know, guys. Otherwise, uh, I think that's it. We'll call it a day. And I really appreciate your time and effort uh, for joining me on this uh, masterclass. And if you're watching the recordings, again, I appreciate your time. That you've put out your day to watch the masterclass, and um, like I say, you know, make sure you go to um, that uh, website, jointventuremastermind.com uh, forward slash um, half price, 
and jump on that deal because that is a deal uh, that will won't be around for much longer. Okay, so if you broker a deal, what liabilities do you have for a bad product? Now again, guys, uh, it's the same thing. I teach all my brokers: don't deal with ba don't deal with bad products. Don't deal with bad companies. Deal with companies that have good testimonials and reputation. Again, I cover all of this in my training. So you know, again, if you want access to all that stuff, uh, including all the uh, more agreements and uh, contracts. Uh, you know, join me to mastermind.com forward slash half price. All your questions will be answered throughout all that, that training, uh, all those different training programs. And, um, uh, you know, that will really, really help, you know, for, for that really, really low price as well. Good questions, though. I appreciate that. Very, very good questions. A lot of questions about brokering deals, and that's very, very cool. I really appreciate that. Uh, all right, guys, so I think that's it. Uh, I think that's a wrap. Um, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and effort as always. Love you guys in the group. I uh, hope you enjoy the challenge also. And uh, like I say, um, wherever you are in the world, have a great evening, afternoon, morning. And I will speak to you guys again very soon. Thank you very much. Take care.